Hi guys, it's Katie with Katie Dixon Photography here and I am going to do another quick review of a newly released camera replacement app for the iPhone. Uh, now this one is by the same people who make ProCam 2 and it's called Shoot and it is just a super stripped down kind of camera replacement app with manual options and I really like it. Um, so I'm just going to show it to you pretty quickly. This will be a pretty quick one um, because it is that simple, um, which is sometimes the best, right? So here we go. I'm just going to open up the app. Now when you first download it and when you first purchase the app, it is going to ask you for permission to use your camera as well as permission to access your photos files. And I think uh, it'll ask you to turn geo tagging on or location services or what they're, whatever they're calling it. Um, and I just basically said yes to all of those. So this is it. Um, these are all the controls and options that you have. So basically you've got your you know viewing screen along the side here. So basically if you swipe this up and down, you can zoom in and out um, digitally. Uh, you are automatically opened up into the app in auto mode. So basically it's gonna auto set your exposure, auto set your white balance and auto focus for you. Now to change any of these settings, all that you have to do is click on one of the options below. So anything red is active. So if I then click on the shutter speed option, the little bar will go underneath and then I can swipe this kind of dial back and forth to either increase or decrease the shutter speed. Same thing for ISO, if I click that, I can then drag back and forth to increase or decrease the shutter speed. Um, and then I can also click on the focus and manually adjust the focus. Now it has, it has opened up this little like lens for me to allow me to do a little bit of focus peaking and if I want to change that all I have to do is click somewhere in the image and then it will try and autofocus for me and then if I try and manually focus it's going to show me that little kind of pop-up assist on the focusing which is really nice. It's also got white balance where I can go in and adjust the white balance myself making it either warmer or cooler to my preference. Now there are no like filters or anything included in this app. All it is is manual controls for your camera capture. And then of course you've got your shutter button down here in the bottom, a timer option where if you keep clicking you can scroll through so it gives you a three second option, a 10 second option, and that's it. Um, you've also got access to your camera roll where you can then scroll through and see um, what photos you've taken. And then of course you've got an info kind of button where then you can see all of the info data recorded at the time of capture. And then of course you click back on the little camera icon to go back into the shoot app. And that's it. I mean it is super simple and really easy to use. And sometimes that's all you want, right? So that's the Shoot app, and I've really been liking it. I love anything with a really clean, simple, easy to use interface. Uh, while I do love ProCam 2, it is super robust. You can change just about anything. Sometimes it has got a lot of options in there, and it does feel a little bit clunky and a little bit cluttered. And I like having the Shoot app, which is um, super simple, super pared down for when I just want to have manual control without all the other mess that goes with it. So I, again, really been liking that if you just want a simple, clean camera app that's gonna give you manual options, um, but that's all the really additional things that you need, I would go for Shoot. It's a really great one. So I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough today, and if you liked this video and found it informative, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any app reviews or anything that you'd like to see in the future, or any camera replacement apps that you prefer, I would love to hear about them down in the comments below. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.